Oh! Well, what's up, everybody? I gotta do an intro for this video because this is a video over about a month and a half span, and I think it's like three or four days of different of kayaking. Now, I, I, kayaking is something I'm, I'm actually trying to get more into, trying to get more more familiar with, trying to make myself do more kayaking, especially through the winter time. And I'm in the process of looking for another kayak to buy. I got a couple of mine. I'm trying to come up with decide which one I want to get. But um, th these are some highlights, and actually, I went out fishing a few times, and it's, it's the fishing kind of was slow, but I caught like good fish, but just it wasn't enough to make a full video. And a lot of times, I, I'll go out kayaking for maybe uh, like two, three, four hours max. It's hard for me to sit and you know, go out and kayak all day. But um, and then there's there's a, a, a really uh, surprising almost catch. Of course, I have a lot of those almost catches um that's it's the last uh, fish on there and that was just a few days ago so um uh, i'm sure i overreact to some of these fish on here because i always think everything's a giant fish but uh, check out some of this kayaking stuff and if you got any good recommendations for a good kayak to uh, really do some good fishing i i can't decide if i want a pedal drive maybe or just go ahead and get a, a standard one for a lot of these rivers and stuff but anyway check out there's there's some good fish caught on here and uh, a really surprising almost catch at the end Why does it take so long to get ready? Is that a fish? Oh, it's a giant! I hooked a giant! Whew. Stay on there. I think he's a giant. Oh, he's pretty good. He's pretty good. This is, oh, 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 he's not hooked that good. Don't come off, don't come off, don't come off. Oh, he's barely hooked! Yes! <sighs> Oh, this is what I was needing. Oh, man. I'm gonna get up there. I'm gonna turn around here. Oh, my. The hook came out. He just, like, he just hit it really nonchalantly. And I have a bigger hook here. And it was just pinned him. It wasn't even poked in. He didn't fight that hard either. It's weird. I guess a colder water. Dude, what is up with this fish? It's not very lively feeling. Oh, there he goes. There he goes. He's got some sores on him, too. All right, I got to get a picture with my number because I, I signed back up for the tournament. Uh, this is the no. This would be the November tournament. And this is my first fish to get on there. Dude, he's got a piece of string in his belly. Oh, look at that. He, he's broke somebody off. He's got a piece of uh, fishing line braid coming out of his rear hole. I'm going to cut that off. He's got some sores on him. Dude, he's a rough looking fish. Just, man, he's rough looking. But I'll take it. It's, it'll add to my contest. Shut your mouth. 19 and a half. Wow, this is the biggest fish I've caught in the whole tournament. This is definitely not the healthiest looking fish I've ever caught. He's, he's look, I mean, he's pretty thick. Probably three pounds at least, maybe more. I'm gonna go ahead and get him back in the water because I don't know, he needs some help for sure. But he swam back off pretty good. So, boom, I'll take that fish. Oh, what's a fish? That's a big old fish. Oh my goodness. That's a good fish. Really good fish. Come here, come here. Yes! Holy cow! First catch today. That's a largemouth too. 
just got back in my kayak from uh, taking a little break, kind of had a headache. I was feeling a little dizzy because the water was so choppy. Look at this big old fish. All right, on the uh, Nico Ikanago worm. Let's see how big this guy is. Oh, that's a pretty good fish. Look at look how big his head is though. It's uh, he's not super long, but that's a uh, that's, that's one of the biggest largemouth I've caught out of this uh, lake. Mostly all spotted bass. Let me try to get situated and 17 and a half but just a thick old fish this wind all right this wind is rough it's moving me all over the place i think we got a good video of it and i got a good picture of it 17 and a half just another good fish for my tournament and it's the only second one i've caught so maybe i'll get a three more like that would be really nice all right you're good go on nice that'll get you pumped up and forget about your headache yep that's a fish oh it feels like a good one too no it's not a decent one Yes, yeah. Oh yeah, I'm kind of working my way back towards the boat ramp, which is right over there. So hoping to get another one before I got in. And there's my first spotted bass today, second fish today. That's a keeper, or not keeper, well, whatever you call it. Qualifier, whatever it's called. Man, look at this wind blowing me around. 14 and a half inches. All right, second qualifying fish today, 14 and a half. Nice spotted bass. It's been a weird day. I've, I've probably only fished really two hours I kind of came out here and messed around and just getting blown around by the wind a lot. Two good fish though. That's nice. Oh, a muskie! Holy cow! Oh! This wasn't what I was expecting today, but I'll take it. A muskie on a spinnerbait in a kayak in Parksville Lake. I know they've been catching them. That's the first bite I've got. I've been out here for 45 minutes. Let me make sure my camera's still on. 55, 53 minutes. Holy cow, look at this. <laughs> oh, he's gonna get me in that tree probably. Get out of there, I gotta. Oh, and it broke. Took me straight under a tree. Mm. I forgot I was that close to this tree. He was right on this tree, man. He was right on this tree when he hit. I forgot I was right, not that I could do much about it, but I probably should have tried to get him off that tree really fast. Took me right underneath it and I could feel it, feel it rubbing and uh, broke the, oh yeah, it's all scraped up. The whole leader line, we just rubbed it straight up against it and broke my leader line off. Well, this here is Parksville Lake. It's the closest lake to me. They've been stocking musky in it for a while and it's starting to become a thing where people are starting to see them more and have a lot more follows. That one, first I hadn't seen it at all. I hadn't seen anything today. I switched to a spinnerbait because the water's a little murky back in here where it's usually clear. He was living, he was been hanging off right on that big old tree laying there, hammered it right at the boat. And I, he was definitely on there, but then he kind of jumped a couple times and he went straight down into that tree. There was, there was no chance getting him out unless I had, unless I was really had some heavy duty stuff, which I was prepared for it, which I mean, I didn't think I was going to get one. So I'm going to have to keep that in mind. It might never happen again or it could get more and more common. 55, 53 minutes. But that was cool. Hopefully, uh, stinks that he's got that lure in him. I don't, I don't know how well they can spit it out or not. The spinnerbait, and I like that spinnerbait. It's a good spinnerbait. But um, hmm. oh well, that was an that was an experience for sure, a learning lesson.
That's a fish. That's a fish. Come on. I just need to get one in the boat. <laughs> oh, don't come off. Don't come off. I need to get one bass in today. It's a large mouth, I think, too. All right. Goodness. Been working hard today. Well, I've been working hard for these bass today. Oh, wow. He came, the hook came out. That's after I got him in the net. Oh, large mouth there. I don't know where all the spots went. All of a sudden, they must be like schooling up in deep water somewhere. All right, that was on the uh, Nico Ikenago worm. I'm starting to like that setup. I think I'll be using a lot more for like lake and bass fishing. <laughs>